But his word will remain forever. It was there in the beginning. It will be there in the eternity future. You can't stop it. Amen. 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 The gates of hell cannot stop God's word. Amen. Amen. Listen, better nations, stronger ones have tried. The Romans tried. Amen. The Roman Catholic Church tried. They put men to death for trying to translate it into English. Amen? Amen. They said, we ain't going to have it. We got it today, don't we? They decided back then they had counsel. You see, hell had counsel. <laughs> Amen? <laughs> hell had counsel. They had a meeting. They said, we got to stop this word. And that's what they're doing over in Iran now and these other countries, not just Iran. But I'll just bring them up because it was in the headlines of the news not very many days ago. we got to stop this thing. <coughs> they tried that in the book of Acts with the early church. Yeah. And the only thing it did, Brother Bill, was scatter them abroad. The word. <laughs> and they took the word with them. Thank God they persecuted the early church. They might have all stayed over there in Jerusalem. Amen. But because of the persecution of the devil, can you imagine how it must frustrate him? Everything he tries to do, and it only helps. Amen. It only helps. I'll put John out there on the Isle of Patmos. And I won't hear from him no more. <laughs> oh, my, 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 my. And then John said, I was in the Spirit on the Lord's day. And I heard a voice. And oh, like a sound of many waters. And I turned to see who it was. And Brother Tyler wasn't one of the Roman guards. It was Jesus Christ, a lamb that was slain before the foundation of the world. He said, John, you get you some paper. Get you a pencil and you write down what I tell you. Yeah. And we still got it today. Yes. Amen. 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 Oh, I'll shut John up. He's the last one of the people left. I'll kill him. I'll put him out on the Isle of Patmos. And the only thing he did was allow John to get secluded enough, to get separated enough, that he got a revelation of Jesus Christ like no man had ever. <laughs> like no man had ever got before. Amen. The gates of hell shall not prevail against it. Amen. Listen, they've tried to stop it. They put us in fire furnaces and we walked out not even smelling like smoke. Yeah. They took us and put us in the in the den of hungry lions. And we used them for a pillow and came out the next day with not a scratch on us. Amen. Yeah. My goodness. They've taken our missionaries over there in Africa and other places. H.B. <clears throat> Garlock. And tied them to stakes. Cannibals. Getting ready to eat them. My goodness. Walking toward them like they were a steak on a plate. Fixing to eat them, Brother Bill. And all at once they stopped. Oh, and I can see God's Word is eternal. Yeah. And I can hear those words in the Spirit. The gates of hell shall not prevail. The gates of hell shall not prevail. The gates of hell shall not prevail. So they go toward them, they're going to eat them. And all of a sudden they stop and they start mumbling in their native tongue. H.B. Garlock has a translator with him and he says, what are they saying? What are they saying? They've got us tied to stakes. They're getting ready to eat us. But they're stopping and walking backwards. What are they saying? They're mumbling something. Well, he looks over to his translator and says, what are they talking about? He said, well, Brother Garlock, I don't understand it. I don't see anything. But they said that there's some men in white that's surrounding us. And it has them so scared they're backing up. Amen? Yeah. The gates of hell shall not prevail against it. Amen. Amen. Listen, it's time we quit belly aching, crying the blues. Woe is me. Say, Brother Billy, yeah, but they've killed a lot of them. Yeah, and what did they really do? Yeah. To be absent from the body to is to be body. present with the Lord. <laughs> Amen. Even in death. Uh, 
O oh, death, where is thy sting? Grave, where is thy victory? Even in death, we have the victory. <clears throat> if he kills you, Brother Bill, what has he really done? Boy, I mean, he's bald where he had to pull all his hair out from frustration. Because everything he does backfires in his face. Amen? We'll persecute the church. Oh, listen. Could I, bro? Oh, I wish I could get a Sunday morning anointing on a Tuesday night. <laughs> oh, he said, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll take the meanest and the baddest Roman of them all. Yeah. Saul of Tarsus. <laughs> and I'll use him to stomp out the church and kill them all. And you know what God does? Makes him the greatest apostle that ever set foot on planet earth. Hallelujah. The gates of hell shall not prevail against it. I can see now when the report came back. How's Saul doing? How's he doing? Is he stumbling them out? Oh, Master, he's <laughs> you better sit down for this one. He's preaching that gospel. He's laying hands on the sick and seeing them recovered. He's casting out devils. <laughs> Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah. The gates of hell shall not prevail against it. <clears throat> Amen. Amen. The gates of hell shall not prevail against it. No weapon that is formed against Sister Minnie Paul will prosper. Yes. Amen. Amen. No weapon. She is more than a conqueror yes. through Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Nothing the devil does ever works in his favor when he comes against God's word when he comes against God's people when he comes against God's church amen I tell you what we'll do now that Paul's preaching that stuff let's just get him through in jail him and Silas let's beat them throw them in jail then let's see how much praise in God they do Oh, I could get drunk in the spirit tonight. <laughs> Hallelujah. If you knew this was going to happen, you'd probably stay at the house. They're sitting in there, you know, it's about midnight. They've been beat. I mean, they've been beat. Amen. Amen. And they're hurting and they're aching. And Paul looks over Silas. Silas looks over to Paul. The devil and his crowd's thinking, you know, well, we shut them up this time. They probably bleed to death right there. They can't do no harm in there. Before the night was over, that old flipping jailer in his house would be saved. Yeah. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Amen. We'll shut them up. About midnight, they begin to whimper and whine. No, I didn't what the Bible says. No. We would have. Yeah. God's forsaken me. Somebody told me the other day they thought his things were so bad that the raptures done took place and tribulation done set in on them. Jesus said when tribulation comes, it'll be like never has been before and never shall be again. We ain't seen nothing yet. Amen. But Paul and Silas, instead of whining and moaning the blues, the Bible says they begin to sing and begin to praise and begin to worship the Lord. And when they did, them old prison doors yeah. begin to rock. The foundation of that prison <clears throat> begin to shake. And before the night was over, that old Philippian jailer would say, what I got to do to be saved. Yeah. <laughs> Can you imagine the report that got back to Lucifer? <laughs> Hallelujah. My goodness. <laughs> they had that prison thing go. <laughs> well, boss, it didn't go just like you planned it. <clears throat> Hallelujah. Yeah. That Philippian jailer, you know, you thought had one foot in hell and the other on the way. Him and his family done got saved tonight. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The gates of hell shall not prevail against it. Hallelujah. You ain't supposed to feel this good on Tuesday night, are you? <laughs> the gates of hell. Up on this rock, I will build my church. And the gates of hell shall not prevail. Up on this rock, if you will build your life, the gates of hell shall not prevail. If upon this rock you will build your faith, the gates of hell shall not prevail. If upon this rock you will build your hopes and your dreams and your life, the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. Amen. Amen. My goodness. I hope it's giving, something, giving you something. Tonight, hallelujah. Like he gave to me. 
My goodness. The Bible says in 1 Corinthians 10 and 4, and I'm trying to close. 1 Corinthians 10 and 4, you don't have to go there, but write this down because you might want some word to back this up. <clears throat> and did all drink the same spiritual drink, for they drank of that spiritual rock that followed them, and that rock was Christ. Amen. Amen. Upon this rock, I will build. <clears throat> Upon this rock, I will build. What I told you, I told you earlier the Catholic Church got it mixed up because they think that that meant Peter and he was the first Pope. And that's what the Mother Church, as they call her, was built upon. Oh my, my, if any church, I don't care if they're Catholic, Presbyterian, Baptist, Methodist, four square, three square, if any church is built on anything less than Jesus Christ and Him crucified, it'd be better off if it was a video store or a massage parlor. Amen. Jesus Christ and Him crucified. What did He say in Colossians 1 and 27? He said, Christ in you, the hope of glory. <laughs> the gates of hell shall not prevail against you. Somebody say, the gates of hell, gates of hell. shall not prevail, not prevail. Against, me. against me. Because Christ in me <clears throat> is the hope of glory. Listen, if you don't know Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior, and I ain't talking about going to church, I'm not talking about being a member, that's got nothing to do with what I'm talking about. If you have not accepted Jesus Christ, if you haven't opened your heart and said, Jesus, I believe in You. Please forgive me of my sins and be my Lord and Savior. If you haven't done that, please do it tonight because you may not have a tomorrow. Amen? And if you will build upon that foundation, Jesus Christ, who is the foundation, amen? There's no way people used to... When I, I was brought up in the church, you know, and I, maybe they didn't mean it exactly the way he said it, but they always said the blood, the fire, and the water was the foundation. No, I've come to learn that it ain't the blood, the fire, and the water. You've got to have the blood before you can build on top, amen, to put any fire, put any water, or get any of the spiritual gifts or anything else. You have to be born again, and in order to do that, you must come to this rock that is Christ. Amen? Christ, my goodness, upon this rock, I will build my church in the gates of hell. <clears throat> shall not prevail against it. I'm closing. John 14 and 1. Turn with me real quick. Go over there. John the 14th chapter in the first verse. I got a lot more scriptures, but I got to let you get out of here. Hallelujah. <clears throat> John 14 and 1. Jesus said, and you might know this from my heart, you might not even have to turn there. Let not your heart be troubled. You believe in God, believe also <laughs> in me. In my Father's house are many mansions. <clears throat> Does your Bible say mansions? Yeah. Oh, I've got a lot of these guys saying it means rooms and stuff. <clears throat> if that's the case, if you don't know the difference, you take the room, I take the mansion. Amen? Amen. In my Father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again. That's what Sister Minnie was talking about a while ago. And receive you unto myself, that where I am, there ye may be also. And whither I go, you know, and the way you know. And Thomas says unto him, We know not whither thou goest, and how can we know the way? And Jesus said unto them, I am the way, I am the truth, and I am the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. He said, you believe in God, believe also in me. You know, we can preach about having in God we trust on the money. And I'm all for it being there. Except for the fact that now they associate the word God with so many other gods yeah. that I don't know that it means anything. Yeah. I think maybe us Christians ought to sign a petition for it to say, in Jesus we trust. <laughs> Amen. Because some of them for God, well, 